Hello and welcome back on the new episode on Pavani Tales. Today we are going to talk about the beautiful festival of lights, Deepavali. How and why is it celebrated across the country? Diwali is a festival of sheer joy, fervor and dazzling lights with all the alluring activities happening in the surrounding. It creates ample curiosity in the minds of our little munchkins. And why not? Festivals are the time when we can get our budding brains and minds acquainted with history, rich culture we have in a fun and an impressive manner. Diwali. What does the 5 days of Diwali mean? As a festival and as a tradition both. This need not be a boring lecture to the little ones. Bundle it up with interesting facts with kids and they would enjoy and understand the story. Significance and importance of 5 days of Diwali. So let's get started. Diwali celebrations go on for 5 days and each day has its own significance starting with the first day dhanteras diwali begins with the first day known as dhanteras or the worship of wealth goddess lakshmi is worshiped on this day and there is a custom to purchase something precious people clean and decorate their houses and homes second naraka chaturdashi or choti diwali the second day is naraka chaturdashi or choti diwali people wake up early and apply aromatic oils on them before taking a bath or a shower this is said to remove all sins and impurities they wear new clothes offer puja and enjoy by lighting diyas and bursting a few crackers third lakshmi puja the third day is the main diwali festival known as lakshmi puja lakshmi puja is performed on this day goddess lakshmi is believed to enter our homes and bless us all with lots and lots of good fortune tiny oil diyas candles and electric lights are placed around the house families exchange gifts and gather together to burst crackers fourth govardhan puja or padva the fourth day is govardhan puja or padva it is the day when lord krishna defeated indra by lifting the huge govardhan mountain on his tiny little finger people make small hillocks usually of cow dung symbolizing govardhan and worship it fifth being bhai dooj the fifth and last day is bhai dooj on this day sisters invite their brothers for a lavish meal and perform a tilak ceremony sisters pray for their brothers long and happy life while brothers give gifts to their sisters people display fireworks during diwali but it should be kept in mind as to not create noise pollution and air pollution which can harm the entire environment around us and also harm the animals around so please be very careful coming on to the diwali story personally i love mythological characters and so do kids here i'm sharing the mythological story it being the reason as to why we celebrate diwali or deepavali the return of lord rama after the exile of 14 long years mostly in northern and central india this is the reason of people celebrating deepavali rama was the son of king of ayodhya raja dasharatha and he was married to sita daughter of king janaka when king dasharatha decided rama to be crowned as a king his enraged 
stepmother hatched a plan and got him exiled from the town for 14 long years. The faithful prince obeyed his stepmother's wishes and ventured into the jungle with his wife Sita and his brother Lakshmana. As fate would have it, Ravana, the king of Lanka, kidnapped and took away Sita from the jungle to Lanka, also known as Sri Lanka. Then Rama, with the help of Lord Hanuman and Sugriv, got into a war with Ravana in which he was killed and Rama got back Sita. As the expulsion was getting ended, it was on the day of Diwali, a no moon day, that Rama with Sita and Lakshmana returned to their kingdom, Ayodhya. Hence, to welcome them back home, thousands of diyas and lights were lit throughout the city. And there was a wave of merriment all around with numerous fascinating characters and these short stories. Ramayana is a very captivating mythological story. I personally love Ramayana and have been recently introducing the same to my son. To these short stories, he has immense short stories of demons, gods and the fights from Ramayana to narrate to you. He has started loving these stories and has been immersing into the morals of them. Similar way, these stories will help your child to imbibe the morals too. Hope you all liked today's episode. We shall be back in our next episode on Pavni Tales with yet another beautiful story from this beautiful epic Ramayana. Till then, take care, stay safe, enjoy this beautiful festival of the Pavali. Wishing you all a very happy, prosperous, joyous and a healthy Diwali. Thank you so much. If you like this episode, please do like, share, subscribe and comment. Thank you.